everyone this is doxy mom and welcome back to my channel if you haven't done so already i greatly appreciate if you hit that little red subscribe button and then you can ring the bell for notifications and if you like this video just give it a thumbs up well miss indy she's kind of hiding over here in the corner somebody's been shooting off their guns out here in the country but we're going to be bringing you the news in 15 minutes or less so let's get started you all know that our favorite Anon, the 17th letter of the alphabet, tells us everything has meaning. Well, President Trump tweeted out, just revealed that the failing New York Times was feeding false stories about me and those associated with me to the FBI. Is what they have done legal? Hmm. Well, this shows me that President Trump He's trying to prepare the American people that there are going to be certain reporters from the MSM that will be going to jail, uh, and that may be happening pretty soon. So, don't you just love our president? Now, I found a tweet by Incarcerated E.T., and it says this, Trump is basically at war with the entire planet, and he's winning. Not a shot fired. Sun, Sun Tzu would ask Trump, for an autograph. Well, of course, we all know Sun Tzu wrote The Art of War, and that is President Trump's playbook, so there you go. Now, I'm sure most of you have seen the Project Veritas explosive uh, interview that came out with that whistleblower that describes Google as, and I quote, they are a highly biased political machine that is bent on never letting somebody like Donald Trump come to power again. Google has been working on a plan since 2016, y'all, to prevent Trump from getting reelected in 2020. Well, I guess no one uh, told anybody over there at Google that Trump will be president in 2020, so they're just basically wasting their time, they're wasting their money, and I'm pretty sure it's illegal to do meddling in an election, just to let them know. Moving on. Now, President Trump, he signed two very important executive orders today, and the first one was for hard-hitting sanctions on Iran. Now, this is in retaliation of shooting down our drone and other inappropriate things that they've done. This EO will deny the Supreme Leader and the Supreme Leader's office and those closely affiliated with him and the office access to key financial resources and support. The assets of Ayatollah Khamenei and his office, they will not be spared from these sanctions. Now, President went on to say that we will continue to increase pressure on Tehran. And I, guys, I'm going to leave a link here, but he's just basically saying, stop hating on America and stop trying to build a nuclear uh, weapon and just stop uh, supporting terrorism. Just, you know, all he wants them to do is come to the table, stop all of this, this anti-America anti mess, and, um, and negotiate so they can have a great country like our country. He's also wanting to get back together with Kim Jong-un, and from what I've heard, there could possibly be a third summit that is uh, being worked out right now with North Korea, so that would be wonderful, guys. We need to be praying. We need to be praying for Iran. We need to be praying for North Korea that we can all get together and have peace. Now, this second order that he um, signed today, now this is wonderful, guys. This is on price and quality transparency in health care because he wants to put the American patient first, and he's changing the health care marketplace to empower patients to search out the doctors that they want while giving transparency on price and quality of care. Because, guys, prices have gotten outrageous with health care. I'm sure you all know that. He said in some places it cost over $6,000 for a drug test and over $17,000 for stitches. I mean, really? Come on. But we have the right to know prices of procedures before the procedure is done. And, guys, this price transparency... Now, it's going to cause competition, and competition causes prices to drop. So, you know, thank you, Jesus, and thank you, President Trump, for signing this. Now, according to the Gateway Pundit, General Flynn went to court on Monday 
June 23rd and had a two-hour closed-door meeting with his new lawyer, Sidney Powell. Now, the judge delayed his sentencing another two months for the end of August so that, you know, the lawyer can get caught up on the case. Now, guys, we know that General Flynn is innocent, and we know that he took a rubber bullet um, because while he was being charged, you see, he was telling everything that he knows because he knows where the bodies are buried. So my guess is that in two months, I could be wrong, but this is my guess, I think the judge is going to throw the case out and let General Flynn just go on, And um, but that's just my two cents worth. But I'll leave the link and let you read it. Now, Monday morning, this morning, about 11.30, a suspicious package was found on Pennsylvania Avenue, and the Secret Service put the White House on lockdown. But an hour later, uh, the Secret Service declared that the package was safe, and they called off the lockdown. Thank you, Jesus. Everything was fine. Now, guys, I keep getting conflicting information on Julian Assange. First, I heard he was very sick. Then I heard he was fine, he was well. Now it's being reported just a day or two ago from the big league politics that he is not well. In fact, they I quote them, and I'll leave a link. The WikiLeaks founder remains imprisoned in Britain as his health continues to wane. So, now guys, they say that a court date has been set for February 25th, 2020. So we've got to wait all the way till next year, but he's going to decide if he'll be extradited to the United States where he has been charged with 18 felonies. Now, I had read somewhere that the United States had dropped the charges, but apparently they'd only dropped part of the charges. So I apologize and make that correction. Um, let's see. So I guess we're just going to have to wait until next year to find out that we know who SR not the Russians gave Julian Assange the information that um from that was you know off the DNC server. Now guys, it's going to take a long time to cover up all this corruption, but it will come out. So just please click keep Julian Assange in your prayers because I'm just not sure if he's well or not well. Now I'm going to leave you with a tweet from uh, Charlie Kirk, and it go and it's talking about this Bernie deal that I talked about um, in my last video. He says, Democrats aren't running on ideas in 2020. They're running on bribes. Free college, free health care, free money for those unwilling to work, free housing, free slavery reparations, free LGBTQ reparations. If you think something is expensive now, just wait until it's free. So, anyway, guys, just remember about my contest. If you have somebody subscribed, just write it in the comments. I'm going to write your name down, put it in a hat, and on July, tw uh, July 5th, I'm going to pull a name out of the hat, and somebody will get a $20 Amazon gift card. Well, I appreciate you joining me, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'm Doxy Mom, and God bless you all.